Welcome back to the Neighborhood Boys and Girls. To Mr. Foo's Neighborhood. Happy Thursday night, y'all. Happy Thursday night. We are close to the weekend. We're a couple hours away from Friday. Everything's good over here. Everything's fantastic. Um... Right before we get into a gameplay, I, I am not sure which game I want to play today. Of course, I did a little Apex uh, early this morning. Still love Apex, but I feel like I want to get into some Call of Duty. Maybe PUBG? I don't know. Options are uh, wide open right now. I'm loving these options for Battle Royale games. I mean, I really do. Right now, uh, Apex Legends is a brand new game that uh, I totally like. Um, but right before that, uh, let's talk a couple of things. Like, um, and recently, like an hour ago, I saw Velvet Buzzsaw with Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, what's his name? John Malkovich, Renee Russo, and I'm also forgetting her name. <sighs> also, uh, the girl from Stranger Things, um... I am forgetting her name already. Uh, Natalie Dreyer. If you haven't seen uh, Velvet uh, Buzzsaw, so let's uh, let's check out the. Is this this one? No, I don't think that's that one. Either. So, hold on, is this the one I think? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So let's go watch the trailer here. Let's watch the trailer here. Oh, it's right here. Okay, let's watch the trailer here for Velvet Buzzsaw here. Um, let's just play it here. Critique is so limiting and emotionally draining. I'm hoping you find something to explain what's happening. Which one's better, one or two? Better or worse, no different. No different. I'm quite curious to know what you think. I think sober hasn't been good for him. Pierce was in the full bloom of alcoholism here. Exactly. I never should have quit drinking. No originality. No courage. It, it definitely has I a mean, lot of style to it. I can't save you. The movie has That's a lot of style to it. Who did these? Uh, mesmeric. Uh, guy upstairs, he died. And you just took them. You had no family or friends. I can make you rich. It's brilliant. Demand has people ready to kill. Have you ever heard of an artist named Ventral Deeds? No, not in our records, and we have everyone. The artist used blood to create the reddish blocks. You ever notice anything about this painting? You look at it long enough, it moves. I love Nightcrawler. If you guys haven't seen Nightcrawler, oh my god, such a good movie. We spent decades in a psychiatric hospital for the criminally insane. There is some sort of power. Some sort of power. Some spirit. It's connected to his art. Truly goddamn strange is going on! <laughs> the great acting, guys. Right off the bat, I think great this acting is from Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm familiar with it. Are you aware that Dee's asked that all his art be destroyed? Help! 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 Uh, everyone loves it. So yeah, that's the Velvet. Velvet? People thought she was Buzzsaw. part of the exhibit. We're trending on Instagram. It's a major hit. Yeah, that's the Velvet Buzzsaw. Just came out recently. Um, initial thoughts. Uh, it looked like it was going to be a horror film, but once again, like, it turned into a freaking comedy. I'm like, 
besides Jake Gyllenhaal's like acting abilities in this one, he's always good in everything he does. Except for Sands of Persia. That was kind of weird. He had like a weird accent in the Sands of Persia. Remember that movie? Great game. If you guys uh, played, um, was it Sands of Persia? Persia of Sands? Uh, I forget the title, but I remember the game. The, the game was totally dope. I remember playing that back in the day. I love that game. But that movie, that movie's trash, all right? Prince, Prince of Persia? Sands of Persia? That's a dang darn name. Gosh darn, darn, darn name. Sands of Persia? Jake Gyllenhaal, Sands of Persia, Persia something? Hold up, hold up, hold up! Uh, Persia... Sands? Yeah, Prince of Persia. The Sands of Time, 2010. Garbage. Love the game, the movie was garbage. Um, that was Jake Gyllenhaal, buffed, buffed out Jake Gyllenhaal. And some weird European accent that I didn't get by. And the movie is trash. It didn't get the essence of that game. But going on with uh, Velvet Buzzsaw, I felt like it was another Bird Box. If you haven't seen Bird Box, essentially it was trying to be a thriller, like horror, scary kind of movie. And it just turned into a freaking comedy again. Uh, which happens to be also John Malkovich is in Bird Box. And now he's in this movie, another Netflix Movie, I'm not sure if he's uh, getting like contract to do all these uh, Netflix movies, but have John Malkovich in our. I, I could have John Malkovich in, in like any horror Netflix movie. Put him in, right? Netflix. I could watch that man in any Netflix horror movie. He, uh, I actually like John Malkovich in the Burr Box as opposed to this one because he was a little. His character in Burr Box, uh, was, he, he was a bit more of an asshole, and I like that. This one, he was kind of passive. He was like a, kind of like a, just a struggling artist. I mean, he could have done, he could have, he gave, you should have like gave him more, uh, with this role. But still, I still like watching John Malkovich. Anything he does, but um, of course, that's why I gave you a little bit of what I felt about the movie. I thought it was hilarious. I'm gonna go on uh, full on detail. No spoilers though, I want you to check out the movie, but uh, so let's get into a gameplay. Let's get into a gameplay here. Of course I am now using um, OBS. So I am getting technical now, y'all. I'm getting technical, y'all. Let's get some uh, Call of Duty. Let's get it. I liked the movie, but I was, like, not confused. It was kind of like, I get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't want to spoil any of, of the movie, but it's like, all right. Like, we kind of saw that. I kind of, well, I saw it in the middle of the movie. It was like, all right, this, this definitely gonna, is going to be a part two to this. Hopefully John Malkovich, right? I don't want any spoilers, but it, I feel like it's going to continue more. I feel like it's going to continue more. I'm going to work on my lighting here. Hold on. Let's work on my lighting. Whoa. That lighting sucks. That's a little bit better. A little bit better, I guess. Mm. All right. Let's get in. Let's get into it here. Let's get into it here. Okay, where do we at here? <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put on my headset for this one. I think I should, just in case. There's no audio. I'm just gonna add it. Actually, I don't hear anything. But why not? You know, it just looks good. Looks good, I guess. So let's get into it here. Let's get into it here.
Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. I don't have a mic on. Uh oh. There is no mic on here. Can you hear me on this thing? Okay, there's no mic on there. We're gonna see it all playing though. Weird. Very weird. Alright. Let's get it though. Got no mic on here. Yeah, we're gonna keep on going. Let me fix this microphone issue. In a second. In a second. Bounce? What a puss. I gotta bounce, dude. I'm a pansy. Oh, fuck. Potential collapse detected. Relocation and indicated safe zone is advised. Oh, I don't want to get shot here. Everybody still alive? I could talk to people. Wish everyone had a mic on so I could talk to people. Oh, it's definitely a. Sensor dart below me. Definitely don't know what to do right now. Sit rep. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Circle collapse. Uh oh. That's everything. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I don't know how to get out. I'm like a freaking rookie right now. I'm like a freaking rookie right now. What the? What the? What the hell? Get me out of this. Uh, my controller is like freaked up. Uh oh. I'm having a controller issue here. Wow. Having a controller issue. Having so much fun with my controller issue. Alright, let's go. Having no sound here. Oh, you're really taking the shots of the... Drop incoming. Paint cans. Love me some paint cans. So I'm gonna check out my volume. It's outside. Shotgunny. Oh, I should have picked up that shotgun. My bad. Ugh. No, feel good about that. Did you hear I just get on. Alright. <clears throat> really wish I had some audio. But that's okay. We're playing call. Are we getting off? What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. Get off. Oh my god. Be advised. Further collapse expected. Relocate to safe zone. There's a paint can in the middle of the road. There's a paint can in the road. I'm gonna risk it. Supply drop inbound. I'm gonna rush this dude. It's weak. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Hee 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 hee! Ha 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 ha! Is that all of them? Oh. Sorry you died, bro. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna write a story about you. Oh, the guy that died for me. 
Don't cry for me. Circle collapse imminent. Argentina, you died for me. I'm sorry that you had to die for me, my good man. Sorry. All right. pretty far. I'm not even sure why I'm wearing headphones right now because I can't hear the game. Oh, sh Nike. Shut up a motherless back shooter. Fucking back shooter. The thirst. First on this game, y'alls. Y'alls. Oh God, we are so. Look, 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 look at this kill cam. Look at this kill cam. Let me just look at this. Look at this guy. Look at how thirsty. Oh my God, look at this thirsty. Freaking. Look at how thirsty these dudes are. So thirsty. The thirst is so real. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Wow. Uh, I had some audio issues there, along with other stuff there. Okay. All right. Uh, Velvet Buzzsaw. I would highly recommend it. Um. As a movie, just to, you know, to get a, a, a few laughs, and it was very stylish. I, I love art. I like going to LACMA. I like going to MOA. Uh, art stuff was cool. It was a very stylish movie. Um, it had, like, I felt like it had a message, like, you know, because, you know, um, buying, well, but buying art is, has always been, like, one of those things, like, commodity, like, stocks, people, like, are willing to do whatever it takes to buy that elusive art, and also, like, uh, there's a character where, like, there's, like, an up-and-coming artist, and, like, these, um, purveyors are trying to, like, you know, scoop up these new, exciting ar ar artists in order to, like, you know, push the art, because, you know, they want to move a coin, you know, they want to make money off it, and I guess, it also showed uh, part of the movie, like, um, anything, art is just another commodity, you know? Like, you know, cash is king, and, we're like, we're, people are willing to do anything to get the most, you know? Even if it's, like, art, you know? So, that, I guess that's... Oh, I keep forgetting I could, like, touch the screen. Technology, all right? But I, I highly recommend uh, watching uh, Velvet uh, Buzzsaw. With Jake John, Renee Russo, Natalie Dreyer from uh, Stranger Things, and I am forgetting her name. I don't have to look this up. I am totally forgetting her name right now. Velvet Basagas. She's very known. Uh, Tony Collette, of course. Tony Collette. Tony Collette. Of course. Yeah, but, uh, of course, if you haven't seen Bird Box, it's essentially a stylish version of Bird Box, all right? <laughs> it's like, in the end, it's like, uh, what happened? What's going on? Like, it's trying to be another, like, Bird Box, you know? But Bird Box is just, it's just too hilarious. Too hilarious. So, thumbs up. Um, I, Mr. Fu recommends uh, Velvet Buzzsaw. For a couple laughs, it's uh, one of those. It's like a, a brand new uh, a horror thriller comedy, right? It's like a new thing now. I feel. Hmm. Uh, what else? 
is going on before we get to another gameplay. Uh, the, the, a lot of uh, NBA trades going on. Unfortunately, the Lakers, the Lakers didn't do anything. Let's look at the NBA trades right here. For February, February, uh, of course, Carmelo Anthony uh, was waived by the Bulls. Traded, not traded, no oh, waived. Anyways, uh, da, 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 the noticeable trades. Um, the Wizards acquired Bobby Portis, Jabari Parker. Hold on, my game's freaking out here. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. The seven Sixers, Sixers uh, acquired to Tobias Harris, Boban, which he's going to be the next um, John Wick 3. Very excited for that. I'm not sure. I'm excited for Yano, Yano Reeves. Excited for the movie. Boban, not really sure about um, Haley Berry in the movie. I am not sure. Right? She was great in Monster Ball. Uh, the rest of the movies, I don't know. Uh, they also required Mike Scott. Um, and the Clippers got uh, Landry, Wilson Chandler, Mike Muscala, and a couple round picks, a uh, couple uh, draft picks. So uh, good trades for the Sixers because they want to get, you know, they want to be Boston. It's it, right. There's no, there's no LeBron in the East, so it's just going to be the 76ers and Boston, right? So 76ers, this is the perfect trade. They want to push right now. And with Ben Simmons, uh, Embiid, uh, Jimmy Butler, they got the fourth now. Let's go. Uh, Lakers, and Anthony Davis, okay. But we did require Reggie Bullock. He's a great shooter from Detroit. And uh, a second round draft pick. What else? Um, this is this is a shocker for you. I mean, uh, not a shocker, but it's kind of like wow. Uh, the Knicks waived uh, Ennis Cantor and Wesley Matthews. Mm. I thought Wesley Matthews was good. What happened to that guy? Uh, this these are like recent trades. Of course, uh, this was today was the uh, trade uh, deadline. Um, Mark Gasol to Toronto. For Jonas Valuzwins, I'm sorry for butcher butchering all these names. Marcus All for uh, Jonas, uh, C.J. Miles, and Dylan Wright. Man, we could have had, should have had like some C.J. Miles. That would have been another shooter. That'd been great. And for a 2024 20, second round draft pick, uh, this is like just one of those things, right? The um, Toronto, you know, they don't see LeBron in the mix, so it's like wide open. So, like, all right, we need a center, right? We need Marcus All. Now we got Kawhi. We got, I'm forgetting his name. I'm already forgetting his name. He's a all star point guard. Forgetting his name. But Toronto, just one of those things. Like, all right, we got to push right now. There's no LeBron in the East. Let's go. <laughs> and the next one is uh, the Dallas Mavericks traded Harrison Barnes to the uh, Sacramento Kings for Zach Randolph. And Justin Jackson. I feel like that was just more of like a money thing. Remember when Harrison Barnes looked terrific with the Warriors and then he went to the um, Olympics? Like that was the best Harrison Barnes, right? Uh, what else? The Cavs. Acquired Brandon Knight, Marquise, a couple round, draft round uh, draft picks. Alec Burke to the Sacramento. <sighs> oh, look at this. Uh, Eamon Schumpert. Eamon. Eamon. Eamon? Eamon Schumpert goes to Houston. Look at that for a uh, three-team trade. Look at the Houston Rockets. They're pushing now. We got another shooter right there. Chris Paul comes back. I don't know. I, I think um, that uh, comment earlier this week about Kobe Bryant saying, like, hey, uh, uh, James Harden can't do it all. I think he, you know, it didn't go on like deaf ears. P people heard like James Harden like knowledge Kobe. He was like, hey, he, that, that dude's right. And I guess management, as you can see, like heard is like, all right, 
We need another person. We need another shooter. And then you got Iman Shooter to Houston. The Houston Rockets are the league leaders in uh, three-point uh, attempts. So there we go. What do you, what do you guys think about um, all these trades? Lakers, I don't know what we're doing. I guess we're, we're just betting the farm for um, Anthony Davis. But uh, Toronto, 76ers, Houston, this uh, trade deadline. They look great with all their uh, trades going on. Um, I, I, uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw, but the Lakers played the uh, Celtics, the hated Celtics. All right, the hated. You, you guys see the uh, documentary, the uh, two-part documentary, uh, the Baltic, Boston Celtics versus the Lakers? One of the... Oh, my mic was off the whole time. I am an idiot. Mic was off, that's why. Good Dirk. Good Dirk. I'm a professional streamer. My mic was on off the whole time. I'm a professional streamer. Mm-hmm. All right, let's fix that. That was an easy fix, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, the balls... The Boston versus Celtics series documentary two part. You should check that out. It's just in depth history of why we hate the Celtics, um, and why vice versa why the Celtics hate us. Uh, so uh, the Lakers with LeBron played uh, the Celtics tonight and uh, won in a dramatic fashion. So we we can't at least get to ninth spot and you know if we don't make to the playoffs just please beat the sacramento queens right which i can't i can't have the sacramento queens be on top of us for the for the year all right please not them not them right but uh in watching the show they showed some new kicks some uh, like uh new uh lace them up sneakers the uh Bust that out here. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Ability and ability to influence and persuade others. It helps. Skip it hard. What's up, guys and gals? Brian Tong What's here, and I'm super excited to show this off. This is gonna be the first look of the new Nike Adapt BB, or the basketball edition of their shoe. This is really the second generation of the Nike Adapt platform. Ooh. We have them right here in front of me. They look really killer. You can kind of see kind of those hints and nods to the Kobe design, the line, but mm. what makes it special really is the technology that's packed inside of there. So let's just kind of jump into what it does. First what thing I'm gonna does. show you what here is Tell on me. the side here, you have two manual buttons. Now okay. these buttons allow you to loosen right. or tighten the shoe manually. Okay. You'll click right. here to t loosen it, click here to tighten it. That's fine. Hold also, up. when hold you wanna up. take hold off up. the shoe, hold you just hold, the, hold uh, up. What? that's packed inside of there. So let's just kind of jump into what it does. Shoe, this I, is really I, just, the second I was just looking at the shoe right now. I wasn't even paying attention to what he's saying. It was just it was like shoe What's up guys and gals, Brian Tong here, and I am super excited to show this off. This is gonna be the first look of the new Nike Adapt BB, or the basketball edition of their shoe. This is really the second mm -hmm, generation mm -hmm. of the Nike Adapt platform. We have them right here in front of me. They look really killer. You can kind of see kind of those hints and nods to the Kobe design, the line, but what makes it special really is the technology that's packed inside of there. So let's just kind of jump into what it does. First thing I'm gonna show you here is on the side here, you have two manual buttons. Now these buttons allow you to loosen or tighten the shoe manually. I like click buttons. here to t loosen it. Click here to tighten it. That's fine. Also, when you oh, want to take super, off the shoe, you just hold the uh, loosen button down for two seconds. Super lazy. You can slip your foot on. This is that's for, like, the super overall kind of like quick way it. to get I'm access. Super lazy. But what really makes this magical is the app. There's a companion app There's that app? becomes a part of this, and what it allows you to do is right. This I'm is like Asian. smart connected I'm shoe. Lazy. I the like app apps. itself allows you to adjust the tightness oh, yes. for each shoe individually. Yes. What yes. also is unique here, you can see those colored lights. I can change. The Dope. color of I like accessory the lights, lights on the shoe uh, to oh personalize it. Come God. on, like I this feel is like this a, is already. I'm already getting like giddy about this. The other Asian thing that makes this cool is let's like say if you're gonna play basketball, you like, want this really like, like snug lockdown fit. 
well, I don't like actually lacing my shoes anymore. I also I want my shoes to be wearing it on the court. If you're gonna go casual, you can also change that setting for yourself. So you can create kind of different After profiles shoes, that you can instantly yeah. jump into. And yes, you're all wondering, right, how much battery power does these things have? Yes. Well, they've told us it lasts around 10 to 14 days. You put them on this new days. power mat to wirelessly charge them. So they have a power mat for these shoes. You drop them on there, three hours gets you a full charge. Um, people that have been using them have said man. they've lasted even up to two months. I can tell you with the first gen ones, they lasted a long time where I didn't even think about it, but there will be occasional times shoes, where you have to check it out. Future. While they're on the power mat, you can see the status of their power. But of also, course an Asian look, is doing we're this. talking about I'm a just, smart I'm connected just, I'm just, app. I'm just letting it tells you, know. you the battery power you know, in these shoes if you're as well. Trust so everything any, is about really the connection between the shoes new or technology and wise. Nike says that this is their most tested shoe ever. They went through 55 iterations to finally it's get to the true. Nike Adapt BB right? that we see you, today. You to new materials, right? New People don't think of you want Nike somebody as a technology to company. That's guy. how I've always felt about them. They've created new materials like this. The actual <laughs> material on here is called Quad Fit. It stretches in four different directions to allow the lacing system to really give you a personalized, you just customized have fit to your foot. Just I think what really stands right out is the first generation, which I have right here, because, you know, I'm a sneakerhead, I love this stuff, this tech stuff. The lacing was all like tight up here, right? It was all self-contained, but when you put on the Nike Adapt BBs, it surrounds BBs, the foot. You'll BBs? get it tightening from the top. You'll also see the lacing said. system BBs, goes to the back, so you get a heel lockdown on top and bottom. It just kind of envelopes and surrounds your, your foot. I've never felt anything like this on a shoe ever. And I think people that are like, oh, it's just a hmm. gimmick. This is not a gimmick. Like we're in generation two. This is something special. And I think that people that try this on, I didn't even know it was gen generation it. one. If we that also want to talk about like uh, a lot Jay of the Fox nitty gritty ones. tech that's actually inside here, Did the Nike Adapt like comes with three processors one? on board. It has a six axis gyroscope and accelerometer. So USB think of like cord on the stuff that's in your iPhone. That's also in there. It has a capacitive sensor. Uh, think of it like, not, not necessarily exactly a touchscreen, but when you put your foot in, it uses this sensor to detect that your foot's there, to tighten it and know whether you're in or out of the shoe. Does it tell There's memory the on board to store program code, and Does also a high-performance Bluetooth low-energy chip, Bluetooth. which will allow it to That's talk to thing. other Wi-Fi? devices. And is it when we asked the adapt? team, well, they is. wouldn't tell us exactly, but this is a platform, this is an ecosystem. You can see them really building this into other shoes. They even said they had a prototype running version of the shoe. So. That tells us that they already have a running version of the shoe made. They, they didn't officially announce that, but if they've been testing a running version, you can tell like what's next. Now, how much Looks, are these shoes? Really well, don't, shoe, you know, to don't cringe too much. It's $350 per pair, which is a lot better than the $720 I mean, for the first generation. They were available for a limited bad. time I mean, on pre-order. That That's I mean, already closed, so we don't know the next of other shoes. Time, when they'll be available, but they will be coming out on February you know the 17th. Exactly but there you go, just kind of like about. an in-depth, nitty-gritty first look at the Nike Adapt BBs. I'm getting these boys. They're at 350 without all these technology. So, not bad. Pretty okay. Nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, is he playing ball right now? Hold up, hold up. Ooh. One and, and done, one and ball. done. He said one and done. <laughs> so the Nike DBs or VBs? It's a really pretty shoe, starting at 350. Um look pretty dope, I gotta admit. Uh, it kind of looks like uh, one of the uh, Kyrie, uh, what, well, I don't know which model, it looks like one of the uh, Kyrie, and the Kyrie kind of looks like the Kobe Bryant ones, like the Lowe's. It's a really pretty show. Of course, like I said, the, the Lakers were playing the Celtics, and uh, in the middle of the game, uh, I think it was TNT, one of the reporters like decided to go do a co cutaway and show off the shoes. That's why I was like, what? I don't lacing. What? Generation second? Where was it? It was a generation first? And they were talking about it like Kyrie and like other players were wearing it. So um, what are you guys' thoughts of this uh, whole auto lacing? I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like if I had the cash to burn, I'll go pick them up at 350 It looks cool. Would I... It would be like really cool to have like a review on like how they would perform too. Because auto lacing, it's amazing. I, I hate tying up shoes. But... I dig them. Nike DBs or VBs. Uh, let's get another gameplay in. Of course, I'm uh, finally using the uh, OBS Studio. I'm loving it. A lot, of, uh, a lot more options for uh, for us and uh, Mr. Fu's neighborhood here. Uh, I'm gonna switch it up. Uh, 
Should I get another, uh, Call of Duty? Should I get into another Call of Duty? Or should I get some Apex? Call of Duty, Apex. Eh, let's get some Apex on. Why not? Also getting some, uh, some celebrity news before we wait here. Highly recommend Velvet Buzzsaw with Jake Jenna Hall. I also highly recommend Bird Box if you guys haven't seen it. It's one of those, these new genres of thriller, horror, comedy things. I don't know what to call it, but they're like a lot of funny horror stuff. Uh, there, there are a lot of jump scares, I have to tell you right now, in Velvet Buzzsaw. Was, a lot of times I was like, uh, So, Velvet Buzzsaw. Go watch that movie. Also, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, was butt-ass naked, like, for one scene, for you ladies out there, alright? Butt-ass naked, alright? Mic is on this time. I'm, I'm a professional streamer. Let's get at it. Uh, oh, I actually turned off my mic again. I am an idiot. Okay. Or maybe I don't have a mic on again. <sighs> yep, we don't have a mic on again. Lock and load. One and it is. We don't second. have a mic on. Ugh, what I did. Maybe I need to connect oh, the mic before I do the thing. Yeah. Yeah, this is the second time I'm like really messing around with the uh, the OBS uh, <laughs> studio for streaming. Fun, uh, just switching it up, not doing the uh, PS PS4 live stream, so we're doing this now. Did I even choose? What? what? I wasn't paying attention. This I think I gotta have to put my mic on to the because um, I'm using the PS4 hooking up to the OBS studio. I think I have to have put my mic on. Uh, before I hook it all up. That's why, like, there's no... I can't hear audio, so... This is... Wearing this is pointless. So you just see my beautiful, uh, Wu-Tang hand, alright? Alright! Get ready, moving out! Get ready, moving out! Uh, the character is, uh, it's a little, uh... Um, little black uh, girl kind of looks like the girl from Black Panther you know what I'm talking about uh, what's his name his sister <laughs> I know right a little bit A gun. Are you first blood? Huh? First blood. FNGs always go first. What? What'd you say? Oh great. Hold up. Yes, 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 y
Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, great. Give me some more ammo. Huh? Give me some ammo. I'm doing it once. Back up. Down here. This we one? got ourselves a new kill leader. Oh yeah? Do I want that or that? Shotgun shells. Shields here. Yep. And do I want that? Or do I want the wingman? Hmm. Hmm. Um. Hey, you guys already left without me? You guys are dicks. Yeah, you guys are already left without me. What dicks? What dicks? Thanks for telling me. Just leaving the foo out here. I gotta remember this is a burst gun. It's a burst gun. The sliding on this game is just ridiculous. You guys know, don't know, it's short for. Redonkulous. Yeah, thanks guys for waiting on me. Uh, this is actually my first time actually using this character. Character, like, using it. So. You know, there's like a shield thing I could use on. Where, do, where are you guys? Where are you guys going here? Want to ping it? You guys know how to ping stuff? I say we move this way. I say we move this way. Oh, you got like a thingy, huh? No more shields. Should we get up on there? I say we move this way. I say we move this way. No, we're not gonna move that way. No. Yes. Oh, cool. He's down. Should be all down. Let's ride it. Let me switch guns up. Oh, I don't even knock down shoe. Ooh. Yes. A gold one. Wanna go? Where do you ladies wanna go? Let's need it here. Definitely. Oh! I need more ammo. Attention. Care package. Care package touching down. They usually carry rare platforms. Oh, I can't. Uh, 
Okay. I can't, like, auto revive and then put the shield up. I gotta go either or on the uh, golden shield. Me up, pick daddy up. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Now deliver me, deliver me, now deliver me to the, the beacon. Deliver me to the beacon, deliver me to the beacon. Or just check all my stuff. I mean, either or. Or just loot out more. I mean, really, it's up to you guys, you know? I mean, it would be really cool if you guys did save me. Save me from this horrible. Yeah, yeah, pick me up now. Round two, beginning ring countdown. Uh, uh, na, 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 na. I guess you guys aren't? Dude, it's like right there. Just deliver me, it's like right there. Oh yeah, I wish I had a freak right there. Just deliver me, it's like right there. It's literally right there. It's like right there, guys. It's like right, right there. My, and my finger right there. Look at the beacon. Go to the beacon. Deliver me to the beacon. Wow. These guys aren't delivering me to the beacon. I don't know. King. 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 Closest beacon. Closest beacon, y'all. Closest beacon is like right there. Literally right there. Like, right there. Attention. Wow. I wish I had a mic. I would just trash these guys right now. Deliver me to the beacon. What the heck, yo? What? What's going on? Whoa, this is some space age stuff. They're just being total dicks and they just don't want to come make me come back. Or they don't know about delivering me to the beacon. It's either or here. Oh, where, where Bundy? Where's he going? It's too late to deliver me to the beacon beacon. If these guys win without me, I would be so pissed. I'm gonna be so freaking pissed if these guys win without me. Oh, 
Yeah, I didn't have my microphone on when I uh, set this up. Connected my, uh, my PS4 controller. Maybe that's why I don't see the uh, microphone on this. Snipey snipe. Doing a little snipey snipe here. Care package incoming. Let's get to the LZ. We're camping on this one, huh, fellas? I wish my mic was on, I swear to God. If my microphone was on right now, I would be roasting these guys. How do you play a, a Battle Royale game, like, with no mics? You know, what's the point with no mics? I have a mic, but I forgot to put it on, and now I, just, I can't go back. But like, playing this game, I notice a lot of people without mics playing Apex Legends. It's like, what the what? What are you, what are you, just, just get like a, a like a cheap ass mic, you know? It's just a, a ho way harder to com communicate. Even though you have the ping, the ping system on over here is great. But these guys, I, I haven't seen one ping from these guys at all. And I feel like they're gonna win. It's gonna make me mad, because they didn't. Decide to revive me. I mean, you can see it's right there. The little deliver Mr. Food to the beacon. No, no. They could ping the nearest beacon right now if they wanted to. They're, I'm pretty sure, like right next to a beacon, they're like, uh, yeah, they're, they're a. They're like, let's not bring that dude back into the game. I don't like that guy. Or b. <laughs> they have no idea how to revive me back, and this is like their first game. Pretty sure it's A, and this is probably like their. Yeah, no, no. This guy had 132 kills, pistol kills, SMG. Kills. He's been he's been playing the game for a while. Big House 277 has been playing this game for a while, so he knows about the beacon. He's just choosing not to deliver me. What about Bundy? 109 kills, 109 ga games. Did you see that? 63 games. 63 games has not delivered me to the beacon. So, it's probably going to be A. These guys are dicks, and they don't want to deliver me to the beacon. I'm hoping they die super hard right now. It's the only why, the reason why I'm sticking around, so I can just watch them lose and not bring me back to the freaking beacon. Come on! You, know, you guys like to camp, huh? Good old campers here. Good old campers. Hold position, 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 hold position. God, I can't wait. I can't wait to get on another match and hopefully get you guys on the next, next thing, Bundy. Bundy and Big House. I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna write it down. Writing you guys down. Writing you guys down. Got a little book here telling me uh, which players I'm gonna kill extra harder. Write you guys down here. So far, I got three names. We're inside the ring. Big house. Got the positional advantage. Care package touching down. Uh, two, they usually carry seven, rare platforms. Seven and uh, Bundy. Bundy, 63 games, couldn't deliver me to a freaking beacon, which is probably right next to them. Bundy, I'm going to just trash you, bro. Trash you guys. Such campers. Look at these little girls. Look at these little girls. Look at these What's little the girls here? there. Never mind. Oh, now you use your ping. You just find that out? 
round four. Beginning ring countdown. Yeah, uh, next stream I gotta make sure my microphone set up to my PS4 controller before I go live so I could use my freaking microphone so I could talk trash to players here. Just every battle royale is always campers just sitting around. Next circle, turn around, just so freaking boring. Get to it, you know? I do like on uh, Apex uh, Legends, there's a, um, they'll tell you when it's like two or three squads lower. Like in the beginning, they'll show you how many players are left, and then when it gets to like uh, two or three squads, they'll, they'll do a question mark. So it makes you really think, like, all right, I got, we got to really position, figure out how many guys are actually left. So if it said like one, then becomes like, all right, well, there's three of us against one. We'll like we'll be more aggressive, but like the question mark makes it a little more interesting as a like battle royale, because you know there's two squads, so it's it's our squad, and then maybe and. So that's really interesting with the question mark. It's really cool. Like if it's the one, like if the squads like get lower, the question mark is right there. So you got to figure out like how many real players are left. You know. Come on, commit. like these guys are gonna win. He's so irritable. <laughs> oh, still, you can see me. I wasn't made a beacon here. Such dicks. Such. Good work. You're inside the next room. Oh my god. I think they're gonna win. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yes. Good job, guys. I'm gonna find those guys. Yeah, next time I do a live stream, of course, this is for the second time doing the uh, OBS Studios. I think I just put forgot to connect my microphone to my PS4, so I can't use my mic. So I can't talk trash. It's okay. Next go round, I'm gonna remember to attach my mic. So let's get another one in. Hopefully I can find those guys. Plenty, plenty of chances to deliver me the beacon. Plenty of chances, alright? Plenty. Let's get one more in. Yeah, what are you guys' thoughts of the Lakers actually making the playoffs? Will they? Will they? In some a long time for the uh, server here. I wonder if a lot of people are uh, online here. What's going on? Wow, that's, that took a long ass time. Lucky dumplings. Of course, it's the uh, Chinese New Year, it's the Year of the Pig. I'm uh, sorry, J Lo Fish, you have a mic. I don't have a mic. Chinese, Chinese, Tyson Chandler, what are you talking about? Take uh, a second. Alright.
protected. We'll be on our side for life. I got your back. Remember me tell you. Get ready to stitch him up. is your champion. Zero kills is our champion? Wow. I don't think so. Zero kills. Some freaking supply thing. This might be a good place to land. Supply ship over there. Oh, you're tough. Supply ship, supply ship, supply ship, supply ship. Supply ship. Let's land here. With the jets, we're dropping hot. <laughs> as, you, as you can see, the squads and we got seven people left. So as it gets to like two or three, you have like the question mark in the squad right there. Like now you gotta figure out like how many people are left as perfect squads. <laughs> This one person here already. I think we broke the game here. We broke the game. I don't know what happened, but we just broke the game. I don't know what happened, but we just broke the game. We broke the game. We broke the game, y'all. That's what happened. Um, yeah, we just broke the game. Killed that guy. Just trashed. Okay, that's the first time Apex Legends, I think, it actually crashed right there. I don't know what happened there. It's finally crashed right there. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, Velvet Buzzsaw with Jake and all, highly recommended. as like one of those Friday nights, Saturday nights, if you're like you're too lazy to get out and you just want to chill out, not like think about a movie and you want a couple laughs, maybe a jump scare. Uh, Velvet Buzzsaw with uh, Jake and all, huh? hilarious. And, um, if you guys, God, I want to get another game plan. I'm so irritable right now. I don't know what the heck happened here. It turned off or something. Just system crashed or my thing crashed. One of the two. But uh, going on back to uh, Velvet uh, Bus, uh, I highly recommended. Yeah, it's just something just happened. There. Oh, it's just, it's got freaky. Just got freaky. Just got freaky. I want another one in. Alright. Can I get back in? Or no, I can't get back in. No, I got back in. Alright. One more. Alright, I can't leave on a low note, especially when I just destroyed that guy. Give me one more. One more. Can I not? I guess not. Wait. <laughs> Pushing X. Hold on. Hello? Hello! Uh oh, I think it's like something's wrong with it. Hold on. I don't know what's going on. Pushing the X here. We're freaking out here. I don't know. Oh, let me test something out. See if this works. Yep, we're just playing Apex Legends and just just got totally trashed. I don't know what's going on. Let's see if we get a uh, 
I just got an itching now, you know? Got the itch. The scratch. What song have I been humming, huh? What song have I been humming this whole time? Real catchy. Yeah, there's something wrong with my X thing. I don't know what's going on. Pushing the X, not working. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let's see if I do can do it without it. I do it without it here. Nope, something wrong with my X thing. Uh, yeah. Yes, I think there's something wrong with the um remote play. Something wrong with the remote play. It's cool. Um, so yeah, Velvet Buzzsaw uh, recommend for some good jump scares and stylish movie. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's performance was, uh, I, I'm not sure about his performance. I, I think it's a typical uh, Jake Gyllenhaal performance. I still uh, rather preferred him in um, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler, he was really good. But uh, Velvet Buzzsaw... Really good. Uh, what else? The Nike VBSs or DBSs, the new uh, auto lacing shoes, Generation Dua, uh, look pretty cool. Price tag 350. I I'm saying like the like other kicks, they're like at 350, and you don't have that your technology. Like you got an app for it, you know, shoe that has an app. So I don't know if I had the uh, cash to burn, I, I probably would check them out. And, like maybe do a review. Uh, once again, uh, thank you for joining me in my neighborhood, Mr. Fu's neighborhood. Uh, if you guys have any comments, suggestions on uh, how to uh, get better as a streamer, of course, I'm using a new uh, OBS studio to uh, stream now. Uh, hopefully next time I'll have my audio, use my speakers uh, correctly. But uh, yeah, if you guys like, like this video, please smash that like button. And please subscribe. It really uh, will help this channel. And, uh, you know, keep on shocking us, you know? Yeah, just keep on shock them. Thanks again. My name is Mr. Fu. You guys keep watching.